Hi everyone. Well, Lily, ne yep, is of course wanting to come out, but it's such a glorious day that I'm going to also um, take her outside. Not that Lily realizes that yet, and before she makes her way virtually up to where Lily would decide to go, which we all know is up and up to her climb out space. I'm going to let her get a little bit out and then I will pick her up and, and actually take her outside. Now I kind of did a part six, but it wasn't. I spoke on a couple of subjects um, over that video we're talking about personality of um, mm -hmm. certain likes and dislikes between Ishi and Ka and touched on a little bit about feeding as well and I think everybody has had many questions about feeding and problems and problem feeders and my snake has stopped eating um, <clears throat> and there's you know so many well, there's variables, you know, to answer on that particular question, ranging from is your heating right, is your humidity right, though I don't worry so much about the humidity, um, but, you know, heating is okay, environment is okay, that they're feeling safe or, you know, especially safe, they like to feel safe. But, as I said, this isn't really going to be about feeding. Um, if you would like me to talk about something like that and try and answer as much as I can in one video about some problems and reasons why and what for, because many of them are just so easy to correct, you could say. Uh, but I want to talk about, you know, I also do I get a male? Do I get a female? Which do I feel is the better? Are there differences between a male and a female snake? And honestly, from what I see and have seen, there are differences between a female and a male snake, most definitely. That's what I found personally with my snakes and I am always going to reiterate my snakes because I think it depends on how you care for them how much time you spend with them etc because it's when you're spending time with them that you will see the differences in male and female so I'm going to get Lily out and I'm one-handed. She needs both my hands to help her. So she's slowly getting um, that tail. I have not bothered to hook this hammock up anymore because she just pulls it off on me. And is that as far as you're going? Well, she's probably thinking you weren't ultimately going to let me go up top so I'll just come down this way which is very convenient for me so I'll turn back on when I get myself sorted outside with Lily and we'll discuss the male and female aspect to snakes okay well we are outside and I'm hoping with these new settings I have decided to use and Lily goes to the toilet for me which is well she was going to yeah she's which is do you have to make such a big noise uh, trying to get out of the so I haven't got a shadow on her these new settings well I don't know I'm sort of been trying to 
figure out what might be the best for them uh, I am not not sure hmm it's kind of uh, yeah I don't don't I'm not good at this sort of thing uh, I keep on trying I don't particularly want the yeah oh, oh no 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 <laughs> there you go you get to see me um, fiddling around with the ISO trying to do this manually for a change to see if you know it might yeah, make a difference I don't know I haven't been overly keen on just the auto function although if I get lazy I do that but we're not talking about cameras are we I do love my Canon GX7 uh, Mark II uh, I have not used manual for for this. I well, I have, but I've just not put different settings in. You could say, but I'm fiddling with different settings, and I'm not sure whether that's um, you know, too bright or not bright enough. Or you tell me if it's too bright. I think some things are, and um, some things aren't. But beautiful blue sky of course Queensland we have had some cool days but it's warm today really warm today beautifully warm today perfect day to be out in the sunshine um, with Lily who's checking things out Lily is a female of course her name is Lily and Honestly, difference between male and females. I have found females to be very much more independent. Now, yes, I'm putting kind of relatively human emotions onto a snake and I get told all the time, you're not allowed to do that and you shouldn't do that because they just don't have it. And reiterating that they do have human emotions as such we should treat them as having human emotions going on there in their brain so in knowing that yes I do find fem females to be much more independent uh, much more uh, you know just wanting to do their own thing uh, of course uh, that isn't a word but I do not find them to be more defensive in their behaviours or anything like that at all. I just find out, found out that they, they want to do it their way and their way is the right way and it, they're stubborn, they are just really stubborn. Lily, if I put her home before she is actually wanting to go home in her enclosure, boy, oh boy, she goes in there, she starts going berserk at a door again. Um, it's, it's like, um, you know, I was, was not ready to go home. So how dare you? Uh, put me back into my home whereas my males are so much easier going in that way they just go with the flow and that's how I found males uh, they are more likely to all the dogs are howling in the neighborhood to hang close you know, and enjoy, I don't know, they do enjoy being 
close to you and touching you and and being reassured that you are that yes of course occasionally Lily will will do that as well if she feels unsure about something but more so with the males so in choosing male or female which would I specifically choose well you know I love both aspects of them I think each of them have their own attributes and different ways and things to love and stubbornness and wanting free will to do um, from our females can be challenging at times but certainly wondrous to to be around and to see uh, males you know I love the fact that they're more cuddly if you could use that word with a snake um, that's the only way I can describe males and I find that even within humans as well our girls grow up to be so much more independent and want to do their own thing and so forth whereas boys tend to be a little bit more mum you know what do you think mum and go to mum when they're not feeling well and I'm not saying the girls don't either girls do as well but in snakes you know Lily has an amazing relationship with me for sure um, she she picks up on a lot of the things that are going on for me if I'm not feeling good if I'm stressed if I I'm tired she's the first to pick up on my emotions and react to each of those emotions is that because she's female and I'm female possibly that's actually quite possible but either they're both beautiful in their own way absolutely and I miss Jack every single day of my life he was my cuddle boy he he was very much like that in my life he never went far from mum and if he did he would turn around to look to see the distance and if the distance was huge because he was you know on a path of going somewhere he would soon lift his head turn around and just come back to me Lily I can do this I can get there I can go go wherever because mum is going to chase me look after me and make sure that I'm okay anyway so she knows I'm never far away and I would never let her get into trouble or be unsafe so she's smart too they're all smart but anyway guys I've rambled on enough so you all take care of yourself and your family and your friends and your snakes and let them come out and use the bathroom because they like to do that and uh, take care of all your animals ciao